Hello guys, this is Daniel and today I'm going to talk to you briefly on my area of expertise and my area of expertise is editing music videos. And the subtopic for it is how to make your video cinematic. Now for the sake of time, I'm not going to go into all the details on how to make your video cinematic, but I'll give you a couple of uh, pointers on how to do so. With that being said, let's get started. As you can see here, this is one of my two videos. The first one is called Fake News. And if you haven't seen my music video for Fake News, I suggest you go subscribe to my official YouTube channel, which is Mr. Turnaround. Uh, I've used the app called the Triller app. That's T-R-I-L-L-E-R. -L -L -E it's a fun app. It's an app where you can lip sync to all of your favorite songs from your favorite artists. Another video I did was called We Can Get It On. I did this uh, about a month or two ago, and I thought the video was pretty cool, how I made it uh, more realistic and cinematic, if you will. But it is such an awesome effect to the video. Again, I've used the Triller app and kind of did some transitions with it. And the next slide I'm about to show you is some tips on how to make your video cinematic. This next slide I'm about to show you is nine tips on how to make your video cinematic. And again, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go into every detail on all of them, but here are nine tips on how to make your video cinematic. One, storyboard. Two, shoot 24 frames per second. Three, shallow depths of field. Four, don't zoom. Five, high dynamic range. Six, shoot in raw, dramatic lightning. Seven, eight prime lenses and nine color grade. The first one I want to talk to you briefly is about storyboard. Now, storyboarding is one of the most overlooked yet vital aspects of filmmaking. While you may not be able to storyboard for every project, you should always storyboarding for a narrative film. Uh, you don't have to be the best artist in the world. Just jot down composition notes as best as you can. The next one, shoot 24 frames per second. Almost all modern films is shot in 24 frames per second or FPS. However, the default for most modern video cameras is 30 frames per second. So if you want to make your footage look more cinematic, you need to be shooting in 24 frames per second. Now, the next one we're talking about now is shallow depths of field. There's very few things as noticeably cinematic as a shallow depth of field. If you're not already familiar with the term depth of field, it refers to the portion of the frame that is in focus. A camera like an iPhone has a very wide depth of field, meaning it's very hard to get a background out of focus. Next one is shoot in raw. Now you've probably already heard of a term called codec. Essentially a codec is the way in which your camera packages up your video before it gives to the computer or gives it to the computer. Some codecs squish your video files to make them smaller while others allow for more information and are subsequently larger in size. The next one I'm going to talk about quickly is dramatic lighting. Now, lighting is not as scary as it sounds. While you could certainly spend your entire career trying to understand the substantial nuisance asserted with cinematic lighting, it doesn't necessarily take an expert to create decent lighting. Next one is prime lenses. If you want to make your footage look four times better, go out and buy a prime lens. 
Sure, Prime Lens doesn't quite give you the flexibility of shooting on a zoom lens, but you probably won't be using that zoom feature anyways. Now, last but not least, color grade, or in this case, color correction. If you really want your footage to really look cinematic, you should color correct and grade all of your footage before hitting that export button. These are the nine tips on how to make your videos cinematic. I hope you enjoyed this little presentation that I brought before you. Hopefully it can give you some insight on what you can do to enhance your videos and how to make your videos more cinematic. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I thank you for watching. I'm Daniel Turner and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.